Or wizard. Oh, okay, no, never mind. Still more than our wizard. Even at level. I need anything? Cannot understand anything? I guess we have to guess the answer in that case. Anyways, Pippin has killed another one of our teammates. How treacherous. An attack here. Yes! Okay, we have defeated Pippet, and I think we have. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you just how to get a Sparkle Puppy. For this, if it isn't obvious, you need to create a teacher account. So, to do that, just create a teacher account, go to classroom, join the classroom code, and now let me show you what to do once you have your student joined into your teacher account. Alright, suppose you're logged in over here. You can see in your maths dashboard it says create a topic aligned goal, right? And on the left side of it, it shows a sparkly puppy. A little smug smile while prancing around. It says reward your students for practice. 10 goals, you can set a question and we can give them a reward. Now let's just select a topic. Since I'm not evil, I shall give them variables, expressions and that. Now we can set that goal and as you can see now our entire class of one student has been assigned a goal. Now there are only 7 days, 15 hours and 3 minutes left for them to do this goal challenge or they just won't get the sparkly puppy. And over here you can see it's only my account which is in it. But yeah we need to answer 10 questions which is not that much but definitely like at least 10 battles worth of question. And if we were to log back into Prodigy. And now that we've logged back into Prodigy, you can see there's a exclamation mark or the letter number one above our mailbox. And if you were to click on that, what you notice it says is you have a reward goal. Yep, it says your teacher sent a, your teacher set a goal for you. Answer ten questions to receive the reward. Basically, that's all we got to do. Let's just click the X button and feed ten monsters, aka answer ten questions. Oh look, won't you look at that? No, I do not want that. Why do they have to shove that in your face? Like, come on, man. They didn't do that before, and now they're doing this. Anyways, this flick bit should be just one question. Oh yeah, okay, it even shows you on the top when your reward goal gets achieved, like, when you progress in your reward goal. It literally just showed there, 1 out of 10 for your reward goal. Now, we could X that out, but why do that when we have a progress bar given straight to us? Now, if we answer it wrong, the question is, does it work? Or does it, like, refuse to work? You know? What? What's Project trying to say over here? I can't make uh, any sense of what they're trying to say. Five sides. That's all I'm reading there, okay? Okay, it seems like even if you answer a question wrong, it goes up. Ooh, we, we just found the lucky combo. You just have to answer everything wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying you guys should go out of your way to answer everything wrong. But if you really need it and it's the last day, you could answer all 10 questions wrong and still get the pet, okay? <laughs> I mean, I guess it does make sense because the teacher only wants to see how you're doing. But to answer all 10 questions wrong, like your teacher's gonna cook you guys. Don't do that. But for my sake, I'm gonna answer 10 questions wrong and it's all gonna be against Pippet. Now if you see over here, we have Pippet and he has 850 health. Officially less than our wizard. Well, okay, no, never mind. Still more than our wizard. Even at level... What was that? x me. Oh, time to strike Pippet. Okay, we still have our wizard, so we can answer as many questions wrong as we want. You know what, just to make sure I get it wrong, I'm just gonna do that. And then add a 3 at the end. But I must say, Prodigy, very helpful hints right over the, all of that compressed in one line. Mwah! Wonderful hints. Cannot read anything, cannot understand anything, I guess we have to guess the answer in that case. Anyways, Pippet has killed another one of our teammates, how treacherous. Well, no need to cower, we can still answer another question. Let's... Another one? Incorrect. Now our progress bar shall reach 5. Oh wow, we can take like at least 4 hits from Pippet before having to worry about anything. Oh wait, no, I completely forgot to look at the goal progress bar and didn't see how much it's increased by. Okay, we'll see this time. Oh, Pippet fumbled, how nice. Well, I was close enough, just mixed something up. Oh wow, Pippet is weak. Pippet is one of the weakest entities in game I've ever seen. Well, unfortunately, our wizard has missed another attack and now we've answered 8 out of 10 questions. And now I think we will actually have to answer this question correctly or else our wizard may pass on.
And there you go. We can cast our ultimate attack. And hopefully this will one-shot Pippet. Else our wizard is gone. Okay. Our wizard is a goner if Pippet doesn't die in one attack here. Yes. Okay. We have defeated Pippet. And I think we have one question left to answer. So we can get our reward gold. Anyways, there you can see our wizard has leveled up to level 7. Level 105. Nice. Nice, nice. Everyone got buffs of leveling up and my wizards blah, 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 blah. But the main thing we're here for is that sparkly pet. We must charge it at all costs. Now, I really wish Paji had this thing where they'd let us see what time it is in-game. Like, please, let me know what time it is outside. Well, whatever. Let's just beat up this first sneak and get ourselves this pet. That's all we got to do, right? And then we have quite a peaceful in our arsenal. But then again, we can run on all of our other opponents, so it won't be that hard. Because it was meant to appear in the shop, but that shop never appeared in the way that was shown and stuff. But basically, you'll be able to get yourself a pet that hasn't been available for quite a long time. And right over there, as advertised, our mailbox has our reward in it. Oh, we actually received it. Okay. Whoa, a new buddy. Would you like them to follow me? Yes, please follow me. Our teacher has sent us a reward. Actually, they haven't. It auto sent. But now behind us, you can see trailing is a cute sparkly puppy. You can see it prancing around behind us. Yes, you can. Look at it. Just ha merely bouncing along on its way. Now let's actually click on our visit and see the infometrics about it. Sparkle puppy. This sparkly best friend is loyal to the ends and is happy to follow you anywhere. It looks super cute. It belongs in the old Prodigy Arena. And yes, that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. With this, you can have a piece of old Prodigy history with you. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. I'll catch you all next time. When Dr. Genius out the house. Thank you for watching and bye. Bada bye. Boom, bada bop, boom, pow. Prodigy has given you the chance to get yourself a sparkly pet once again in game. Okay, yeah, so it's been quite a while since anyone was able to unlock the sparkly pets. There was a rumor of them appearing in some sort of shop, but that shop never actually materialized in-game. And today in Wizard Watch, what you guys would see is this. Boom, bada bop, boom, pow. Over here it says, Be the first to earn this month's buddy. Ask your teacher to set a goal to earn sparkle puppy. Yep, sparkle puppy. Literally a puppy prancing around made out of sparkly silver. Now, silver is basically like, the only sparkly color they added in game there was no gold tier like for the top 100 or anything it was just silver and yeah so for this if it isn't obvious you need to create a teacher account so to do that just create a teacher account create a classroom join the classroom code our wizard oh, okay no never mind still more than our wizard even at level 